Hello and welcome to episode 7 with me, the Exile King. The goal of this one, like I said in the last episode, is to start building up here on this hill. So as you can see just in front of you here, I've started laying down already a bit of the foundations uh, for the houses over there. Uh, I'm going to put two more beside it. Uh, I think I could fit maybe another four there, so maybe eight houses in total up here. Uh, they're number two, level two houses, so these guys are level one houses, sorry, simple houses. Um, just because there's four beds in there. I haven't unlocked that yet, it'll be a long time for I do that, but I could build them somewhere else. Um, I want to put these close together as well, in a way to make them look like, uh, sorry now, that they are you know, like a little village, almost, streets. And off, up here, obviously, there's a great view. That's why I wanted to build up here. Uh, especially in this time of year, it's beautiful. You can see the lake in the distance. Or the river and the uh, islands. So, as you know, there's no roads in this game as of yet. Recording this, anyways, there's not. So I'm using the farms as kind of like markers for the roads. I've decided to make this too thick. Because it's going to be like my main street. These are just going to be alleyways up. There is up here. I'll put two more houses in here. Make another two houses here. And another two if I can fit them. Um, and then a big roadway. Perhaps down here if I can fit it. I'm not sure. I might have obstacles in my way, but we'll see. And it's going to be like the main streets. I think I'm going to have to knock this building as well, um, but I don't need to do it just yet. The reason uh, as well is I'm going to go down this way. So that's kind of like, it's kind of already a road there, like a footpath down, so I didn't need to change it, so that's why I went this way. Just press one there so you kind of see what the house looks like. These are all going to be made out of stone as well, I'm not going to make them out of wattle. And I think I'm going to put palisades in around this kind of base area. And there's always room to expand further down. If I need to. We'll see how I am from space. And if they implement new buildings uh, in the future. But up here I think I should be okay for buildings at the moment. If anyone is looking to know where I am on the map. Uh, I am located here. Right here. Anyway, so you've seen in the other episodes, you know how I build the houses. Just get what you need. I'm going to make these as a set of stone, so uh, walls, this, stone walls, just to change it. Do another one here, stone walls. And for the roof, planks, which you make out of uh, timber in the wood, cutter's house. Now I'm not going to bore you with the, you know, the building process, the slow the slow parts of it. I'm going to do a sped up version and you can see just the, the highlights of it and everything that I'm hoping to do. And yeah, I'll try and do as much as I can in this episode. So without further ado, let's start building.
it's the next day and I've laid down the foundation of eight houses built the roads in the first section so I just have to fill it in now really with stones and stuff but that'll take me a long time uh, just going to have a nice look at it here now so it looks pretty good um, some of the buildings aren't straight now looking at them so I will fix those myself this is the the idea of it you can see it's beginning to start up so it's all going to be housing up here uh, maybe a little park there there's going to be a big road uh, I'm gonna have to knock that building I think like I said and eventually that will be knocked as well but it's fine for now while it's doing storage uh, once I get better storage though I, I'll probably build it somewhere else um, okay, so what I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to start filling in uh, these buildings, start building them up, so that'll take me a few days, so I don't want to show you that, that's boring stuff. I'm going to have to get, go recruit a few villagers I think as well, uh, as I do that, as I build these houses, I'll recruit a few to join me, and to get them working, get me resources, to make my life easier. Um, yeah, okay, so let's... Let's get going. All right, here we have it. We have a woman on the roof. I have no idea what she's doing up there. I don't even know how she got up there. Anyways, that's not what I'm here to show you. Um, this is the kind of finished article of the houses so we kind of walkways down here uh, and here and yeah this is the housing area i built a few other buildings as well uh, as you might have noticed this is the evac uh, evacuation excavation building and this here is for the smithy so i unlocked it quite but a lot of new buildings and uh, let's go down and have a closer look it's really beautiful this game um summer like this the weather's good I don't know how she got up there maybe she's avoiding me because I have to find a wife uh, she's playing hard to get okay anyways yeah so this is it so far uh, this here is the uh, sewing place a guy working in there I heard of quite a few more people as well down here is kind of the footpath as well. Tick. I'm going to uh, daub all these houses as well. Uh, walk over here. It's enough. I will. Uh, I'll decorate these as well in a while. I just want to get the um, kind of set up for so far. Oh, it's really clear today. This game. So two tick down here. I'm going to continue the road down here. I think anyways uh, to here and go across there and then I'm going to put the palisades around here I think uh, I need to make another wood cutters building because um, I wasn't getting enough wood in uh, so yeah that's kind of it's a far pretty happy with it I'm going to show you something else that I done in the meantime as well I decided to build a storehouse or resource storage up here uh, why did I build it up there says you it's because the mine is there and it's in between these kind of villages up the top of the map so it's it's if they've got missions for me and I have to get stuff I can get it e easily there also and here we have it this is the resource storage building just outside the mine uh, it's as close as I could get it to it just built the basic one for now because uh, it's easier to get the resources uh, and once I have that built I can just take the resources out of this and make a bigger one here or, or better resource storage I also laid down farm plots just for a little walkway in which I'll probably have to hold myself because my villagers won't come this far up now in order to mine you need to get a pickaxe so to get a big hex, you have to buy your first one. I don't know any other way. Um, I haven't seen any of this. Go down to Hornicke here and you can buy one. Uh, 
uh, of the blacksmith there. So once you've done that, just hammer away. Because you can't collect iron deposits and I'm not sure about salt deposits, but I know you can't, um, there's iron in the black ones. Um, I'm not sure about salt ones, but you can't collect iron deposits, definitely. Just outside here, and your villagers can't collect it for you until I have the mine unlocked. So this excavation building won't allow me to, they won't allow them to collect it, but the mine will, and I'm a bit off getting that yet. So it's worth getting. Now, um, my next thing is collect a load of iron here and go back to my smithy in my town, make some arrows and sell them because that's the best way to make money. And also my taxes are due and they're quite high after building all those houses. So uh, I need to start making money quick. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a bit of mining and I'm going to magically teleport back to teleport back to my base and I'll show you how to make the arrows and then I'll go and sell them okay now I'm here outside the smithy back at my base and I'm going to create some iron arrows now to do that first of all you need to unlock the iron arrows so you click on this button here and you need to unlock get as far as this level and stack of iron arrows which I've purchased already well worth it. And you see they're very light as well. So what you do is, what the resources you need to, is you need iron, feathers and sticks. You can get your villagers basically collecting the feathers for you if you have the hunts from the shop, sticks from the, the woodshed. So you click on this, iron tools, no you don't, you click on iron weapons. And you just press R, click, go. Now while he's doing that is, uh, what I'm going to do is collect a lot more iron. I'm just showing you here and I'm going to go down to the village and I'm going to show you how much money you can make from doing this. Uh, it's, it's definitely the best way because they're so light. The uh, You can go around to nearly every village with bows, with um, arrows and sell them make lots of money back because you need it for all the taxes that the greedy Unigos wants. So I'm going to go down to the village and sell some arrows. Now I'm just outside Gustovia and I'm going to sell my wares. So I just need to find the people to sell to. This lady being one. Before I sell it though I want to get rid of all my coins. I'll just drop them all because I want to see how much profit I make. So the arrows, they say the price is worth 20. I won't go near that now, that's mine. Hello, show me your wares. So I have 450 arrows and let's see how much I can sell. Maxed 191, I'm getting seven. Not great, but still, it's okay. See how light they are? For all those 450 arrows, 2.25. So, sell, thank you very much. I'll go to Unigos now, he loves money. This town will be full of arrows, but no bows. Unigos, as usual, sitting down outside the pub, not working. Looking for some, show me your wares. Sell, Max. See, took all these, no money either left. I'm already up to four, four and a half thousand. It's really easy to get, uh, I have loads more iron spare as well after I went mining for a day. Um, so it's a great way to make money. Show me your wares. In fact, I'll show you my wares. Now, okay, she's a bit more money left. But basically, from, if I had about maybe 600 arrows, I think I could buy everything out of this town. Or take all their money, basically. Yes, that's definitely the, the best way. I have to pay this man his taxes now. Here you go, you greedy so-and-so. Here. 
All those houses have uh, cost me dearly. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Uh, what I'm going to do now, just let you all know that I'm going to start on Twitch. I'm going to start live streaming on Twitch. It's, it took me... The reason this video is a bit late this week is... Um, it's because I was trying to get that set up, all the plugins and stuff like that. Just getting used to it on Twitch because I've never used it before. Uh, but I'm going to start live streaming off that, I think, anymore. So to check the, the times that I'll be streaming... Uh, just check the channel and the link will be in the bio below and please like and subscribe to this I'll still release more episodes on this because I have to find myself a wife next and because uh, I need to make an heir to the throne see this chapter so I've got the dynasty reps I just need to get a wife and an heir yeah so if you like the sound of that and you like this video here today then please hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon as well if you want to stay in touch and check out on twitch thanks very much uh, i'm going to wrap this up today and i'll see you in the next one hopefully